ever get frustrated with speeders ignoring posted speed limits, especially in neighborhoods or school zones? Well, you can help police track problem areas. Joining me live right now in studio, Debbie Janicek. She's with the Eugene Police Department. And this is the radar program, the citizen radar program, it's back. How does it work? It's back. Well, we need to get uh, people who are interested in participating. If we get about a, a dozen people or so, we'd like to put a class together and we'll teach citizens how to actually use the radar gun. This is it right here. That's it. And then what citizens <clears throat> will do is they'll go out in pairs and they'll utilize the radar gun to see what's going on in their neighborhood. And they'll track uh, the speed of a vehicle and a description of the vehicle. And if it's going more than 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, we'll send a letter to the register owner it's a nice letter it just asks for them to voluntarily comply it lets them know that it's a neighborhood concern uh -huh. um, and it's just the first step in a progressive letter system but it seems you can always have the same driver perhaps speeding perhaps so what happens then if, if, if that person is reported multiple times right as I said it's a progressive system so and it's, it's dependent upon a time frame so if a, a multiple multiple captures are, are, are occurring within a six-month time period it can go from a, a several letters just from our program to a letter from maybe the traffic enforcement unit and ultimately a letter from um, the chief of police. Right, and then ultimately also, if it, I guess it became a real problem, you'd get police out there to perhaps also um, monitor as well. Absolutely, you bet. Has this helped in the past? What have you noticed with this program? Yeah, I think it's helped. It empowers citizens yes. to just really see what's going on in their neighborhood. And I mean, it really, it can capture what they think is happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes there's a perception of speed um, that can sometimes be um, debunked by using the radar gun as well. So it's just another tool that gives citizens the empower. Absolutely. And also it's the whole idea that you are the eyes for the police department too. Sure. You, you, in days of shrinking budgets, People need to step up and help out, especially sure, if they are concerned. Sure. And if they're out in the neighborhood, too, it's a deterrent as well. It is. All right. Well, you'll find more information on our website about this program at kezi.com.